Watch this very, very carefully, and I will just talk you through it. An elk, wild, suddenly appeared on a highway, not to challenge into the automobile, but the elk was trying to do something that nobody could figure out. One woman thought maybe this wild elk need to be pitted, and that's what she did. But the elk stayed there, stayed there and bugled. And the cars grow off and one man saw he needed help. So he followed him down the trail to see what he wanted. And he discovered there were elks who were caught in mud in a bog. One of them had already been died. Three of them were there. And that elk had gone up there risking his life and got people to come and pull those elk out. They put water on them. One at a time, they brought them out until finally all three were saved. Miraculously so. And then the elk, after they were saved and cleaned up, they stayed around the humans looking in their face and they thought they were looking at them to remember who they were. And then they gave that bugle, thanking the people who had rescued his three companions. I've never seen or heard of anything like that in the wild. Evidently, an elk got caught in the quicksand of the bog and couldn't get out, and another two or three went in, and one of them couldn't make it, and the other three would never have made it. But that one elk did an amazing thing. You can be sure that elk had been taught his whole life and had learned Stay away from humans. The number one enemy of elks is humans. But seeing his three family part of the herd, knowing they would die and never get out, he did an amazing thing, that elk. Went up to the highway. Did you get it? Confronted automobiles. Finally convinced some man who followed him down and saw that these other three were about to succumb, they could never get out of the bog. And he went and got some humans who threw ropes over their heads, you saw it, and pulled them out one after another after another. And these elk from the wild stayed around after they were cleaned up and washed looked at the humans who had saved them, and then you heard that bugle at the end, I guess saying, thank you. I've never heard, received, or imagined a story like that. It's a story of rescue, of rescue, is it not? Dramatic rescue in the wild. Now, a lot of people think that Christianity is a religion. Christianity in no way, shape, form, or fashion is a religion theologically or actually or technically or linguistically. Christianity is not a religion because religions describe what we do as humans to be right with God. That's religion. What you don't do, what I don't do, what you do, and what I don't. All the rules and regulations are man-made in all the other religions of the world except Christianity. Christianity is revelation and rescue. Revelation. Jesus came and the form of God became the form of man and was God-man, giving revelation, this is what God is like. 
This is how God operates. This is what God would have you to do. That is Jesus revealing God to all who will take a long look at him. Christianity is revelation and it is rescue. Jesus came to reveal God to us and he came to rescue you and me from the trash of your life and the trash of my life as we are basically self-centered individuals.